Okay, so now we spoke with the mother about the public harness and now we're gonna put it on the baby. Since the real baby is sleeping right now, we're gonna do the first part, the upper part, in the baby model, please. We told her that she has to put that like a backpack on the upper thorax. Each arm goes under all over there and then she closes it. She closes it. Okay. This has to fit nice, snug, not too tight so the baby can breathe and can drink his her milk without having any problems. Three fingers must go here with no problem. So we say that's okay. Okay. Our model has crossed stripes here, so that's how it should be put it on. And now we're going to install on the real baby the lower leg part of the harness. I'm going to do the first, the, the right side. It's very important for the hind foot to go here where it has to go. Our model has Velcro's opening toward the outside. So we fit it here snugly and right below the knee. Always with clothes on. With that clothes, even in warm weather, the harness can harm the baby's skin. So we tell the parents always to use clothes. Now we tell the mother to do the other side. She opens it, fits the hind foot snugly, the lower one, the upper one, and then the foot. Okay, so now we have two anterior um, stripes and two posterior stripes. These ones give us the flexion of the hip, and these ones give us the abduction of the hip. First, we're going to flex it. We want to have a 90 degree angle between the baby's body and the flexion of the hip. And that's our goal, that it's right about here. We're going to do the same on the other side. There. So the baby won't be able to extend the knee more than that. And now we're going to get the abduction with the posterior component. The abduction has to be progressive because the baby has strong abductors. So if we do it, so if we do it all the way in just one, um, just one time, it would be not comfortable for her. And we're going to do the same over here. So that is the position we want for this baby.